be the best airport on the continent, but YBR's food service workers say that their pay could be a lot better. Now, their union represents about 300,000 workers in hospitality, uh, in airport, and food service. And the members, a lot of them, are immigrants or First Nations women as well. So their union says that nearly 2,000 airport workers signed a petition uh, calling on the Vancouver Airport Authority to ensure that they'd be paid $25 an hour. That's the living wage in Metro Vancouver. They were recently rated the top airport, not just in Canada, but in North America. And they are a certified living wage employer. Now, all of this sounds great, but there are some groups at the airport who are not covered by this living wage policy. That includes food service workers, which we represent, also retail workers and other groups who we found are earning minimum wage or just above minimum wage, most of them. Federal NDP leader Jagmeet Singh came to the airport to support the workers. We are your workers' party. We're going to fight with you every step of the way for the justice you deserve. The Vancouver Airport Authority's contracted sanitation workers, landscapers and traffic management are among the workers covered by its living wage policy, but in a statement it noted that it doesn't have any role in ongoing contract negotiations between Unite Here Local 40 and SSP Canada, which leases airport space to several food outlets according to the Airport Authority. It adds that it's up to each organization to choose to pay a living wage. From the CEO of YVR's own mouth, she stated that, you know, it's because of the workers that one of the reasons that this airport is so successful and rated the number one airport in North America. And we just want the wages to reflect that. At Vancouver International Airport, Kirjunos, City News.